Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to L.A. Dodger Report. Today's topic, off with Dave Roberts' head. He's got to go as manager of the L.A. Dodgers. Now, I've ranted and raved about Roberts' decisions in the past, but I never called for his firing until now. Last night, the Dodgers being run out of the first round of the playoffs was the last straw for me. The Dodgers were on the verge of victory, taking a game five away from the Nats. Up by two runs with six outs to go. A full bullpen prepared to shut the Nationals down and bring the Dodgers into the NLCS. But nope, Dave Roberts had to get cute. Dave Roberts had to bring in the wrong man at the wrong time. Kershaw was wrong to start game two versus Strasburg, as I mentioned in an earlier video, and he was the wrong man to bring in last night. Why? All season, Kershaw's been giving up runs in his first two innings of pitching. Kershaw's got a 5.75 ERA in the first inning, in his first inning. Almost six-run ERA. And Dave Roberts sends uh, him out there. Kershaw's a home run magnet. He's got that history of postseason meltdowns. The Nationals' best hitters were coming up in the eighth inning. He had Kenta Maeda, among others, in the bullpen. Kenta Maeda, who had been perfect through the NLS, uh, DS, owned the Nationals. Speaking of ownage, Kolarek owned Soto. And yet he didn't go to any of those pitchers. He went with Kershaw. In Kershaw's defense, Clayton Kershaw got his man at the bottom end of the seventh inning. He brought in Kershaw with two outs to take over for Walker Bueller, and Kershaw did the job. He got away with it. And instead of going to those other pitchers in the eighth inning, like we discussed, for all the reasons that we discussed, he went with Kershaw. One home run. Brought the Nationals to within one run. Kershaw should have been run right after that. Nope. Left him in. Second home run. Gone. Tie game. Now, Roberts wasn't done screwing the pooch yet. That wasn't all he did. Fast forward to the ninth inning. It's game tied. The Dodgers haven't lost yet. It's anybody's ball game. What happens? He brings in Joe Kelly for the ninth inning. No problem. Kelly gets the job done. He's still got a full bullpen out there for the 10th inning. What does Roberts do? He sends out Joe Kelly again to pitch for a second inning. The man who hasn't pitched back-to-back -back innings since August. What happened? First batter, walk. Second batter, a double. Third batter, Soto. Instead of going to Kolarek, who owned Soto, he had Kelly intentionally walk him. Bases loaded for the guy who hadn't done anything all inning. A walk, a double, bases loaded, let's leave Kelly in, right? That's what Roberts did. Death blow, grand slam, and the Dodgers are done. This was quite possibly the best team in LA franchise history. Choose your favorite worst manager of the Dodgers. They could have managed this team to a division championship. But when we get to the postseason, Roberts hasn't shown that he learns. 
he hasn't shown progress. And as a matter of fact, last night was such a regression that it convinced me he's got to go. He hasn't got what it takes to close the deal. The Dodgers were gone in the first round of the playoffs. And Dave Roberts needs to be gone in the first round of the offseason. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching all the videos that I brought to you this season. And we'll see you next year with fingers crossed and me betting that the Dodgers are going to the World Series next year. <laughs> all right. See you. Peace.